today we're going to be talking about the work transfer programming tool on Akuma's OSP control. Akuma's work transfer programming tool allows the operator to easily and quickly create a program that will transfer the workpiece from one spindle to the other so they can continue working. This gets done through the OSP suite on your P300 or newer control. So from the OSP suite screen, if you don't see the tool, we'll select settings, we'll look for the work transfer tool, and we will add it to the OSP suite home screen. Save, OK. Now we have the work transfer programming tool. From here, we enter it. We can look at our parameter settings. Here we set our escape position for our turret so we know we're in a safe space before we begin the process. Now we'll create a new file. We can transfer from left to right or right to left, and we can also do a cutoff operation if we wanted to do so. In this case, we will transfer from right to left. Select next. We will enter a few different parameters and just follow the screen. So the first one we will enter is where do we want our workpiece to stop? So that'll be Z0. Where will we begin our transfer? So we'll start out at 35 millimeters. At what feed rate do we want to do this? We'll pick 300 millimeters. Our escape position will be the max position of the W axis. In this case, we'll pick 700 millimeters. W axis position error gives us a window of error that we can be within to be acceptable. So we'll choose a half millimeter. The spindle phase alignment is a utility for aligning your two spindles. So in the case of turning only, this probably isn't necessary. But if you have a feature that you need to clock from the main spindle to the sub spindle or vice versa, you would want to align your spindle now the torque skip distance. So at what distance do we want to start feeding and measuring the W axis load? So we'll choose five millimeters. The torque skip feed rate, so we'll slow down a little bit here so we can engage at a slower feed rate of 100 millimeters per minute. Our torque is how hard the W axis will push to seat the part before it stops. So we'll choose 20. Our torque limit is the maximum torque that can be achieved before we stop because something bad's gonna happen. So we'll choose 28. Distance from approach, we'll choose two. Distance from the target, we'll choose one. Now we'll hit program output. So here we now give it a program name. So we'll just name it something very simple. We give it a sub program name. Hit next. So here you see it's already created our work transfer program. You can edit the text file from here or you can save directly into MD1 and edit the text file there. So from here, we'll just hit save. Now that's complete. We can go to our program and it's already created. It's just that simple.